right, so today for cardio, I don't have a whole lot of time because I got to get to work by like 8.30 today. So we are doing a 20 minute, 20 minute Tabata on my Peloton bike. So let's get to it. sweat oh my god that was a tough one so uh tabata i never have enough time in the day now if i was training for let's say the olympia where my full-time job was basically getting ready for that um i could probably schedule my day a little bit different but since ending competing um i spend a lot more time at flagner fail uh because I spent so many years not being in the brand. I was just periodically there wherever I could <laughs> between cardio and dieting and eating and just dying most of the time. Uh, so it's really cool because I'm like back a part of the business. Uh, I've actually created my own business, which is DLB Daily. And uh, yeah, my days are very, very busy. <laughs> very, very busy. My day doesn't revolve just around training anymore. But, uh, so I wanted to recap. So this is the start of week two. You know, the first week for me was actually, it didn't start off very good. So I'm coming from, obviously, as a bodybuilder, when I used to diet for shows, I used to eat like five, six meals a day. That's how I know how to diet. I started intermittent fasting about four years ago. On a regular basis, when I'm not thinking or doing anything, um, most of the times I forget to eat. So that's, I think, part of the reason why I'm able to be more relaxed with my diet is with intermittent fasting because I'm just eating less calories. I generally probably only eat two meals a day. So at the start of this, I wanted to continue to do the intermittent fasting. So my eating window is generally, um, I was going to keep it between 12 and... Uh, 12 and 8 so I have an 8 hour eating eating window I start my first meal at 12 so immediately the first day I already forgot to eat it was like 2 o'clock I'm like oh my god I already f day number one I forgot to eat it was way too hot in there I had to go it turned my camera off I think I was saying about uh, forgetting to eat uh, so my first week uh, I forgot to eat day one and then day two I realized okay I need to start setting alarms so that's what I used to do back when I competed at the Olympia and the Arnold um, that was more so <laughs> that I was eating directly when I was supposed to so I could get all my meals in because I was eating six meals a day and that's really really hard to do I went through on the DLB daily site it it gives you step by step like how many calories you should be eating and then I broke it up and then I made a plan like okay if I eat at 12 then I eat at 2.30 so uh, my goal was to eat every two and a half hours and then I would be able to get my four meals in and that was a struggle all week <laughs> I felt way too full um, I felt bloated by the end of the day by the end of the week I gained uh, two pounds which is obviously not really what I wanted to do but the way I think about it is I think I've just been under eating for so long that now I'm eating what I'm supposed to do so I might gain a little bit of weight uh, because at the start of this week I was now back down two pounds so I was always under the impression that oh, white rice is the devil, you shouldn't eat that, and I was doing low carb diets. When I started taking it serious and I hired George Farah to do my, co uh, my prep for uh, being a pro, I wanted to get to the Olympia, so I remember he gave me my meal plan and it was like every meal had a cup of white rice six cups of white rice every single day and I did that and immediately <laughs> that week I again felt I felt horrible bloated my stomach was distended 
I was like, oh no, like, so I, I, I remember texting him, like, George, I don't think this is right, like, I don't feel right, like, I am so bloated, I can't keep my stomach in, and he's like, no, 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 sister, sister, it, you're gonna be fine, do this, exactly what I say, for the next week, week and a half, and boom, your body's gonna see the chain, and, like, you're gonna start getting vascular, you're gonna be lean, and boom, Boom, a week later after following it to a T, even though I felt horrible the whole time, a week later I woke up and like there were like veins in my stomach. I had like veins going up my arms. So I'm sticking it out. Even though I gained two pounds, I'm sticking out the diet because I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and to also maintain my muscle mass because I obviously don't want to be doing all this cardio and then lose all this muscle mass that I've gained over the years. Um, so I need to stick to my four meals a day uh, because it's how much I should be eating for the amount that I'm training and the cardio and everything on top of that. So this first week I felt terrible, uh, bloated, terrible, but I'm going to stick it out. Um, and we'll see how it goes for this next week. Week two, man. Things to take away from are, number one, get your meal plan ready. Whether you get help from somebody else or honestly just go through the steps that are on my site. It will give you the whole breakdown of like about how much you should be eating and then you break up your day. The biggest thing with diet is being consistent. Other thing is uh, sticking to my schedule. Um, I missed a couple days of gym, of the gym this week just because I was busy. I missed two days and I missed two days of cardio. So it, I need to make it more of a priority. I start my day every single day with cardio, whether it's a steady state cardio or a HIIT training. Usually I do HIIT training because it's just, you know, it's intense and I'm out of breath and I'm sweating profusely and I can get it done in a fraction amount of time versus like steady state where like I'm doing 30 to 40 minutes. I don't have time for that anymore. I used to, I just don't have time for that. If I wanna see results, then I need to stick to it. And everybody that's doing this needs to stick to it. So get your diet on straight, stick to your cardio routine, stick to your training routine. And then we only got five more weeks after this. I will fill you in on the following week feeling good. I'm feeling very full. So I think that the added food here and actually eating, <laughs> eating like three to four meals a day is doing me wonders. So just a little bloated, but that it's all going to even out in the, in the end. So, Woo! all right, I got to go shower because I got to get to work. This is what you guys expected me to be doing at work. Look at us. Just out here, packing orders. I have so much other work rolling that I need to be. I'm rolling hoagies. <laughs> Look. Welcome to the lunch loft. So it's 11:30. So normally I eat at 12, but I have a podcast at 12. So I don't want to be eating during the podcast and I don't want to wait till it's over. So we're doing a little half hour early. All right, meal number one of the day is like such a bodybuilder <laughs> diet. So I did uh, one cup of egg whites with one egg and ketchup because I love ketchup and cream of rice. Uh, I make my cream of rice with half a cup of water and half a cup of uh, almond milk because it just makes it taste so much better with a little bit of salt. So it's, uh, that breaks down. So really easy app for you guys to use is MyFitnessPal. Um, not sponsored by them or anything, but it's just a, a nice app for you to pretty much see what you're even eating even if you're not on like a strict diet it's just to kind of like make sure you hold yourself accountable because you don't realize like how many like snacks that you eat in a day like I know if I'm not thinking about it I'm not writing stuff down 
like I snack here and there and those little tiny things where, whether it's like oh it was only 80 calories and that was only 100 calories but those calories add up throughout the day so making sure that you log every single thing so even instead of just water I like I added the almond milk because that 15 calories I know it's not a whole lot of calories but if you add up everything throughout the day like it can really make a difference so this kind of keeps you on track so today's first meal is about 28 grams of carbs 6 grams of fat and 36 grams of protein with a total calories of 345 so this will be meal number one of four Another very typical bodybuilder diet here. Uh, we're doing about four to five ounces. My freaking scale broke. I gotta go buy a new one. So pretty good at estimation. So this is like between, it's probably like 4.5 ounces of shredded chicken brought to you by Trifecta. Ta -da. I am doing a three quarter cup of rice. Um, week one, I, kept, I was feeling super, super duper full. So I'm lessening in the amount of carbs I'm eating to see what happens. Obviously not that much, but, and then uh, just some broccoli and carrots that I roasted in the oven with some Frank's Red Hot Buffalo. Nothing fancy, just eating and working. And then we gotta go train, gotta go train. What are we training today? Uh, shoulders, shoulders.
Success must be ego. Oh, they don't know. Ah! 